my name is Thomas Wang. I'm from the University of Michigan. In this issue of endoscopy, in the section on innovation and brief communications, we have a paper entitled, Multimodal Endoscopy Can Quantify Wide Field Fluorescence of Barrett's Neoplasia. In this study, we took a commercial endoscope and adapted it to collect three forms of light, white light, fluorescence, and reflectance. This was done in order to visualize and quantify the image intensities using a specific imaging agent to help us better find high-grade dysplasia and early adenocarcinoma in patients with Barrett's esophagus. This study was motivated by the increased need for a more effective imaging method to detect early cancer in patients with Barrett's esophagus. Esophageal adenocarcinoma is rising faster than any other cancer in Western countries. This is, occurs in part because pre-malignant lesions are flat in appearance and can be focal and patchy in distribution. Current methods of white light endoscopy with random biopsy has not been found to be effective for accurately and with high yield detecting these pre-malignant lesions. We performed a study in 50 patients where we used a special endoscope that collects fluorescence and reflectance simultaneously from the esophagus using a FITSI labeled peptide. This um, imaging agent was developed previously for specific binding activity to high-grade dysplasia and early endocarcinoma. It's labeled with a fluorescence dye in order to achieve very high image contrast where the doctor can um, gravitate naturally by looking on the screen to where the lesions are. In addition, by performing a ratio of the fluorescence with the reflectance images, we can then correct for the differences in distance between the endoscope and various regions over the image field of view. And for the difference is in geometry as the esophagus undergoes peristalsis during imaging. This allows us to accurately quantify the intensities over the entire field of view and help the doctor to localize the disease regardless of where it is within the image itself. In this study, we performed the processing and the disease detection after the images were collected. In the future, we hope to have the algorithms run in real time so that the doctors can use this instrument and the images provided to accurately guide biopsy or endoscopic mucosal resection, otherwise known as EMR, during the procedure itself. In the future, we also hope to develop new peptides that can bind to multiple molecular markers to address the heterogeneity of this disease. We also hope to extend the spectrum of the fluorescence light from the visible to the near infrared where we expect to have less background. I hope you enjoyed the article. Thank you for your attention.